otherwise today i will show you how you can change column name dynamically on visuals here we have three visuals one is slicer second one is matrix visual and third one is column chart visuals right now i select reason from slicer so you can see here for matrix visual it is showing reason wise data as in columns and same for column chart in x axis it is showing reason wise data now i am selecting product subcategory so for matrix it is showing product subcategory data as in column same for column chart in x axis it is showing product subcategory data now i am selecting product category from slicer so you can see here for matrix it is showing product category as in column and same for column chart in x axis it is showing product category so here i am changing column name dynamically for visuals here we have only one limitation it supports only import mode it will not work for direct query mode now let's move to the practical file this is my power bi blank report page and orders is my data set we will complete this activity in two parts first one is we will assign unique index to each rows and second one is we will create one duplicate data set and then we will unpair the columns for reason product category and and product subcategory so let's start under home tab we have this icon click to down arrow icon here we have transform data option click to transform data and you can see here power query editor window has been open and orders is my data set you can see here orders data set now we will create index to assign unit number to each rows so click to add columns and you can see here here we have index column option when you click to drop down icon so it will show you you want to start index from 0 or 1 suppose i want to start index from 0 so just click from 0 so you can see here it has it assign the unit number to each rows so you can see here 0 1 2 3 4 okay now we will copy the same data set just right click to orders data set and then click to duplicate now rename the data set and this is data set for data and po so here we will unpair the column for product category product subcategory and reason and we will delete unnecessary column so he in second data set i need only index column this one so here i select index column then i need reason column and after that i need product category and product subcategory column and after that just right click and remove other columns so you can see here in second data set i select only four columns so one is index second one is reason third one is product category and then product subcategories now we will unpair the column for reason product category and product subcategory so using control key you can select all three column then go to transform and here we have option unpair the column so just click the unpair the column so you can see here for zero index it is showing three rows for reason product category and product subcategory and here we have value for reason west product subcategory we have office supplies and product subcategory for pens and art suppliers same for index 1 same for index 2 so for each index we have three rows because we unpaired the three columns one is reason product subcategory and product category and now i will show you in original data set see go to orders and for index 1 for index 0 so you can see here we have west reason and product category is office supply and product subcategory is pens and art supplies now go to data and pure so for index 0 we have reason west and office supplies and product subcategory is pens and art supplies so for each index we have three rows so you can see for index 0 we have three rows same for index 1 we have three rows now we will create relationship on the basis of index so firstly we will save this changes so go to home tab and then close and apply now we will create relationship between both data set so to create relationship we have two options either you go to modeling tab and click to manage relationship 
second one is you can see here in left hand side we have three tab one is report second one is data and third one is model tab click to model tab so you can see here this is my data set schema and from here you can also create the relationship power bi already has been created the relationship on the basis of same column name so you can see here orders is my one data set and here we have index column and same in data in data and period here we have index column so on the on the basis of same column name power bi automatically created the relationship so in case power bi not created the relationship suppose i am deleting this relationship and now you can simply drag the index column with second data set index column so you can also create the relationship using this method see now go to report tab now we will create the visuals so firstly we need slicer so this is slicer visuals and from data and pure drag attribute column in slicer so under attribute column we are getting column name now we need one matrix visual this is matrix visual and in row section i need city and under column section drag the value column from data and pure data set because under value we are getting columns value and in value section i need sales so you can see here now i am selecting reason from slicer so you can see here it is showing reason why is data as in column now i am selecting product subcategory c and now i select the product category so according to my selection it is changing the column data now i am creating one more visual and here i select cluster column chart and in axis i drag value from data and pure and in value section i drag sales column and unit price column so you can see here it is showing me product category as in x axis now i am selecting region c central east south and west it is showing in x axis now i am selecting product category so according to selection it is changing the column name for both visuals so hope you understand how you will change column name dynamically for visuals so this is very simple and you can change the column name dynamically using this thank you guys